Hi, I'm Caroline. I hope you're enjoying your day um, at the Arise Boutique Part 2. Um, I certainly am. It's a really lovely day, isn't it? Um, yeah, so we've been hearing um, some great stuff about God and what he thinks of us and um, how he sees us and um, all those blessings that he's poured into us and uh, yeah, who we are, really who we are in him, which is a great thing to dwell on, isn't it, for a day? And uh, yeah, we know we have a created God um, and we are created in his image and uh, we're going to create a paper folding um, we're going to fold a dove to help us think and pray about our wonderful creator, God. We often call ourselves not creative um, or that we're no good at creating things. But that is almost to shun the likeness of uh, the one who made us. We all create every day, don't we? Um, even if it's just uh, choosing a lovely outfit to wear, um, we're creating and making making the world a more beautiful place just by being around in it. Like the beauty of the flowers after the winter that Joy was speaking about. We fill this earth with our beauty every day. Even if you don't feel beautiful, and sometimes we all don't feel beautiful, um, sometimes. But your presence is enough to bring beauty into the room, isn't it? So let's just hold on to all that we've heard of who God is today. And let's take it on board and let it move from our head into our hearts. I'm just going to move my screen down so that you can see uh, what I'm doing. So we just need one piece of paper, one piece of A4 paper. Well, it actually needs to be a square, and the best way to make a square out of a sheet of A4 is to fold one corner up against the side like that. So you have a funny kind of sail shape. And then take some scissors and cut off this spare bit here. Just cut along the line that you've just folded down to. need this. So a dove is like uh, Joy described, a thing of beauty, calm and blessing. Just fold that corner over and now we've just got a smaller triangle like this that's folded here, like that. God landed on Jesus just as he was baptised in the form of a dove and blessed his precious son. So we fold this, um, as we fold this dove, this image of grace and beauty. Um, let God rest on uh, you today as the dove rested on Jesus and bless you just uh, like he did for Jesus that day with his baptism. We folded these edges. You can see I'm not a very precise person, but it really doesn't matter. So we folded our corners over like that. And we've got an even smaller triangle. So Jesus was perfect, but he made the way for us to be seen as perfect in God's eyes too. He was love, he was peace, he was grace. 
and his love is warming and fulfilling and if we let it it will fill us to the top settle into us warming the winter darkness away that can seep into all of us and take away our joy lord we long for your love and your light and your joy to fill us show us who we are in you not who we are in this fallen world we long to blossom for you for our lives to be a whole bed of flowers standing proud and glorious in your light and for your glory to shine out of us we'll to see so we folded the corners over and now we're folding these pieces inside. We end up with something that looks a little bit like that. Those top corners that were there are folded inside. Can you see that? to fold this top corner down to make the beak just need a little bit peeking out give it a firm squeeze and then open it out and then turn that inside out as well fold it right in So Lord Jesus, this has been a tough season. The pandemic has made everything intense. Our darkness and the darkness of the world has been so tough. If you feel weighed down by all that we've been through and had to do, let's give that to Jesus today. Let's hand over that heaviness and let's find our wings lift us up into Jesus' presence. We simply fold those two sides. The beak here, we just fold this side right up, like that, and the other side to follow. And if you're overwhelmed by everything that's going on around you, really, God is the only one who can sort that. Let's lay down these feelings of overwhelm and give them to God too. It can be hard when we've been going through tough stuff to let go of things. But it's so important to put them down, to be able to move on and to be effective. God's in control and he has the best plan for all of the anxiety and fear in the world. Everything will turn out good with God and if it's not good, it's not the end. Thank you Jesus that you promised to bring good out of everything. We lift those terrible things we struggle with up to you and ask that you shine your warm light of love and peace on us. So this is the last part of the dove, the tail. You just fold, you'll find a line just here, fold right over. Give it a good sharp squeeze so you get a nice crisp edge. And then put your finger inside the little hole that's there 
and press down so that the point is in the middle of the shape or virtually in the middle of the shape and then fold over the other side too and that produces the tail there you have your dove Lord God you came to earth as one of us in Jesus to feel our pain and share this earthly experience. Thank you, God, that through Jesus we see you in your heart for us here on earth. Help us to share your peace, your warmth, your light and your love with those around us. Lord, the day you were baptised, the heavens opened and a dove landed on Jesus and your voice was heard. Let us hear your voice today. Let us hear your heart for us and let us dwell in your presence and find that peace and love and warmth of who you are for us today. And because of Jesus, God says to us too, Behold, this is my daughter, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Amen.